Welcome back, my beautiful mothers, to another episode of Our Second Empire. Go ahead, like, and subscribe. It means a lot to me. And also leave a little comment in the comment section below just to say hi and get this relationship really cracking off. So for today's video, I'm doing another five items you're going to need postpartum. I really like these shorter videos and I think they're a little bit easier to go through. So go ahead and watch the first video if you need the first five. Number 1.6, that's what we're gonna call it. So number six is a sits bath. I'll make sure that you can, mm -hmm, I'll just put it right. Mm -hmm. So a sits bath is essentially like, have you ever gone to Paris? I know that kind of sounds like a side question, but it's not. And you sat on a bidet and it gives you that little sprinkly feeling in your booty and then your pooch. Anyway, ladies, that's what a sits bath kind of is. So essentially you just have like this little nozzle thingy and you spray that and it kind of cleans out your coochie for you. Number 2.7. <laughs> Nipple cream. Your nipples are going to be tender, especially, especially, especially when you first start breastfeeding. So go ahead and get yourself some healthy nipple cream. I've even seen some that actually is kind of like a tinted purple color. So after your baby is finished nursing, they have these cute little purple lips. Don't worry, it was all natural and cleaned off really nicely. And I'll make sure to link some nipple creams in the description box below. For Number 3.8, sleep bras. Your boobs are gonna be going, mm-hmm. Like you might wake up a double D one day, you might wake up an F, you might wake up a C cup, you might be like, girl, look at these nice little bees. Mm. And then by lunchtime, you're like. Ooh. But get yourself some sleep bras to keep your breasts and your nipple covers kind of protected and kept on to your body because things are constantly changing and rearranging, you should be as comfortable as possible. Girl, you are going to be in pain at least for another month. So you might as well get yourself some all natural painkillers. So if you're an ibuprofen lady, go ahead and do that. Advil, Tylenol, but definitely talk to your doctor first so that they can recommend something that works best for your body. But yeah, get yourself some pain medication because all things are going to not be having a lot of fun right and now. Number 10, perinatal vitamins. So for the last however long you've been postpartum, you've been shedding your hormones. Therefore, it's good to get a little bit of help. So go ahead and get some perinatal vitamins. And again, with everything, go ahead and talk to your doctor first so that they can recommend the best vitamins for you. All right, my beautiful mothers, I hope you are having an amazing, amazing day. I hope that you are able to sleep somewhat all right but you know life is right thank you again for watching our second empire don't forget to like and subscribe and like i always say don't forget to check out the website bye